Gals and Gents, I figured I would do another Love With Food unboxing video for you guys. I didn't expect so many of you to love that video. I was just sitting on here pretty much being a fat butt, eating all these snacks on camera. But if you're not familiar with Love With Food, for every single box that is sold, a meal is donated to a food bank in the US, which I think is really amazing. Also, there are no junk food snacks in this box. All of the snacks in here are all natural, and they're new or hard to find snacks, which I always think is really cool. Just like in my last video, I'm going to have a link down below for you guys for you to try out this tasting box. And basically, you're getting the box for free. All you have to pay for is the $2 shipping, which I think is really amazing, which is why I'm doing another unboxing for you guys, because I want y'all to be able to try this out as well and do a video or tell me what you thought about the snacks. Obviously, I have not opened this yet, so we're going to try out the snacks. Well, I'm going to try out the snacks, and I'm going to let y'all know how I like them. So this is their March tasting box, and I'm excited to see what is in here. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy. There is a plastic wrapping around it, and it didn't come in this because I know, like, food in the mail, that just seems like disaster, but they really do package everything great. I've never had any issues with, like, any bugs or anything getting into the package or my box. So, like I said, this is the tasting box. On the front, it says, snack smart, do good, love with food, and it has tasting on the bottom, and it has their website on the back. So, on the inside, it says, one box, one meal. So, on the inside, it has a brochure that has every single item that is in your box. So, I'm just going to start with the first item in here, and it's a Miracle Tree Morning Organic Tea, and I'm not going to drink this tea just because, uh... This is a morning tea? No, I'm sorry. This is not a morning tea. Can I freaking not read? Moringa tea? Moringa? Moringa? Anyway, this is an apple and cinnamon tea. And uh, I love tea, so I will let y'all know what I think about it. Probably on Instagram or Twitter or something like that. But I'm not going to drink that right now just because I want to enjoy that. Even though I want to enjoy these snacks too, but you know what I'm saying. Next, I see the Good Bean, which is a roasted chickpea with sea salt snack. And I like chickpeas, so I'm kind of excited to crack this thing open and see what it tastes like. It doesn't really taste like anything. It tastes like a rice cake. It almost has a caramel taste to it. This is actually really tasty. I like this. So this snack has four grams of protein, four grams of fiber, and it has sea salt in it. And it is 90 calories, so not too bad. Next are these Annie's Chocolate Bunny Grams. And I'm not a big fan of chocolate. This does have eight grams of whole grain in it. And it has, how many calories? 120 calories, 35 are from fat. And it's made with organic wheat. I think I said that already. But I'm not a big fan of chocolate. So, so I definitely taste the graham cracker in this snack. But I'm not a fan of the chocolate taste just because, like I said, I don't like chocolate. But if you like chocolate, you'll probably love this snack. I just prefer vanilla. That's just me, though. Next, I have this... Um, Hemp Hearts is the name of the product, and this says that it is a perfect topper for salads, wraps, or sandwiches. Basically, it has 10 grams of plant-based protein in it, so it's probably not going to taste like anything, but just because, let's try it out. They're like little bitty seeds. 
Hmm. It tastes fresh, like fresh out of the ground. That's all I can say about it. I mean, it would probably taste really good on a salad if you want to add a little bit of protein in your diet and make you feel a little bit more full. But as far as just eating this stuff, I don't advise that. <laughs> Ooh, there are potato chips in here. So what is this? This is, this is the Good Boy Organic Sea Salt Box. And it's gluten-free, organic. It doesn't have any GMO. And they're baked potato snaps. So I used to love potato chips. I don't really keep them in the house anymore. But of course, they don't taste as fattening as your traditional potato chips. But these do remind me of ruffles without all that extra like grease. They're not bad though. I would definitely eat these as a potato chip alternative. This has 100 calories in it, which isn't bad at all. Next, I have a almond butter truffle, and this is by Two Moms in the Raw. And I'm not going to eat this just because I think that my husband would like this. And I have a feeling that I won't because it looks like chocolate. So... I'm not going to waste this product. I'm going to keep it moving. Next, I have these Cocoa Chews by True Joy Sweets. And this looks just like a Tootsie Roll. And again, I don't really like chocolate, but just because I love y'all, I'm going to try it out. But again, don't take my word for it because if you love chocolate, you're not going to probably agree with my taste buds. Yeah, sorry. This is like so rude. I'm like smacking and eating on camera. It's basically like a Tootsie Roll. So if you like Tootsie Rolls, this is a healthy alternative. So if you like chocolate, you're gonna love this box. If you don't like chocolate, mm, you'll probably like about 50 to 75% of the treat. Next, I have these plantain chips. And I don't really eat plantain, but let's try them out because I heard these taste just like kind of potato chips. Mm. These taste just like potato chips. These are really nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. This has 150 calories and 60 calories are from fat. These are nice. These taste like potato chips. They taste more like potato chips than the bops. I'm sad. This is my last snack. I don't get to be a fatty on camera anymore. So the last snack that I have, I'm trying to find it on this list. Oh, it's the Nutty Rice Bites with Cranberries by 180 Snacks. So let's try it on out. It is gluten free. Okay. I can't get it open. Okay, there we go. I got it open. So it's just like a rice cake. It looks like it has pumpkin seeds in it as well. Hmm. This is really tasty. The last one didn't have cranberry in it. So let's try this one. I'm just like thinking of an excuse to eat another one. Mm. these are good too I really like these so at the bottom of your box it is going to have like some coupons gift cards to different brands that were in the box so I think that's really nice like this came with a $10 
Urban Remedy gift card, which is pretty nice. So, again, I love love with food. Even though a lot of the snacks were chocolate, I still enjoyed about 50 to 75 percent of these snacks. And these are all things that I wouldn't go and grab in the grocery store. So it's always fun to get this box in the mail. You don't know what's going to be in it and then just try them out. Of course, not like me and try them out all on the same day just because I'm a vlogger. So I just do stuff like that. I don't waste food around here, okay? I hope that you all enjoyed this Love With Food unboxing. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. It's always nice to kind of break free and do a different video, one that's more on the fun side, uh, especially since I love to eat. And this is like right up my alley. Don't forget, I'll have a link down below for you to try out this box and only pay the $2 shipping. So why not try it out to see if you like it? Even though this isn't a beauty video, I really appreciate you guys who stayed and watched the full video. I will catch you all in my next one. Bye, guys.